Good morning guys, happy Friday. I have not vlogged all week for a multitude of reasons. The first one being that I did in fact lose my voice. Um, I was kidding when I posted this Instagram story um, on the party bus and then it happened. At the time of saying that, and of the three nights of just yelling um, at the concerts and stuff, in church, I think church is what set me over, honestly. I seem to have forgotten that when I lose my voice, it's actually a very, very, very bad thing because I essentially talk for a living. So I don't know why it was so like, oh, yep, it's happening, and didn't really think that one through. The other being that I've had no energy this week. Like, last week I was up and at them, waking up at like 6, 5.30, going to like my workout classes at literally the crack of dawn. It is Friday right now, and it is the first 7 a.m. core power I've made all week. I've been going to them later. And I don't like going to them later. 7 a.m. class is perfect for me. That's when I, that is when I achieve the most inner peace, like zen, I'm just the happiest I've ever been, um, it was my 7 a.m. workout classes, and I haven't done that all week, and I think that's contributed to me being in this weird, I don't know, do you guys ever have a week where you're, like, really, really motivated and on it, and the next week you're, like, I'm so tired, like, I would wake up at, like, 6.30, which is not even, like, crazy early for me, it, it would have felt like a bus hit me, backed into me, and then ran over me. And that's how I felt waking up at 6.30. Like, I just don't really know what was going on with that. But anyways, today's Friday. And subscribe if you guys are new here. I'm going golfing for the first time. My mom's gotten really into it. We were going to take golfing lessons together. And then she got, like, ahead of herself. And she's already in golfing lessons. So I'm just going to meet her on the course today at their new country club. And then, like, just work. I just wanted to hang out with you guys for the day. I hope you guys enjoy today's vlog. I'm gonna go in and um, sit on my mat for 10 minutes before class because I'm never chill nor am I relaxed and I have to get there 10 minutes early to just sit there and prepare myself to do something at the early hours of the day. Um, also, these Alani new energy drinks so good whenever friends come with me to these classes i bring them one the tropsicle is my favorite flavor molly told me to get this flavor forever ago because i knew that she liked alani new um and it is so good like every single one of my friends none of us are really energy drink people and every single one of my friends is like this is the best thing ever it's so good i'm gonna try to put my hair up in like a bun today instead of here how do you guys when you go work out in like a heated class where you like sweat a lot how do you try to save your hair? Because, like, I just can't wash it every day. Like, that's so bad. All right, guys. I showered. I changed into my outfit to go golfing. This skirt is from Amazon. This top is Year of Ours. I am obsessed with it. It's a sports bra, but it's, like, perfect. Really, it looks like I'm going to play tennis. I don't have golf shoes. I got my mom some for her birthday, though, so maybe I'll just buy those and we can match. Look at me, everyone. Do you think I'll have a golf cart? I have these sunglasses. Oh, I don't know if I... If I showed you guys these new clothes, I'll try to remember. I ordered from, I think it's like Sisters and Seekers. I saw them on Instagram because they had this really cute like catway crew. And I love their stuff. Like it is so cool. But these sunglasses aren't really like, you know, these are uh, my best ones that I have currently. And I will be wearing them today. So, well, I was going to say I feel like I'm going to the country club. But quite literally am going to the country club. Oh my gosh. I literally left my desk, desk, my email for two seconds, and now there's too many things here. Da -da -da -da, da -da, da -da -da -da. Guys, my mom is moving and building a new house, like actually quite far away from me, which is really unfortunate. It's only like 10 minutes more north than our hometown, but it just feels like so far away. Do you guys want vlogs of like moving into that house? I'm not moving there, but I think it could be cool. Cody just sent a picture of Kobe's dog. He's so cute. I missed you. Let's look at my mom. Such a cute golfer. It's her new hobby. <laughs> How's your golfing career going, mom? It's going well. Three, three um, lessons up. so far. Three whole lessons. I mean, she's on yeah. the course every day. So now I feel like I can actually teach Kinsey, which she's is a pro. Really kind of she a was, joke. But. She was teaching me some of the grip stuff. Yeah, you got your grip lesson. I wish I had that hat. I have a lot of hats, but they're like checker hats, and I didn't feel like they were like country club. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You but when we come out hat. with Okai and stuff, we'll have something for you, and you can wear yeah. our hat. I'm so I ordered I ordered a, a Titleist visor. I wish you could have videoed me when this thing, I pulled this thing out of the bag. Have you, 
<laughs> Have you ever seen the visors that like come all the way around? And it's a Titleist. Oh yeah, but it, the, I didn't realize online. You thought it was I was like, like oh no, no, Tim. I mean, we were dying laughing. I, if you go to like a boys <laughs> pregame, like anyone our age, it's like you go in their closet and it's like about five of those hats. I can tell you their exact closet, everything that they have, and it's that. That's number one. I have that. I could have kept. Well, I have it in like a a really bright like teal green. Oh, I would have worn that. <laughs> are true. I'm a pro. Crazy, I know. Anyways, I'm heading home. We went to the course for just a few hours. I need to get home. It's hot out. I want to do absolutely nothing this weekend. Honestly, I've only had one weekend in the past, like, since January, February, where I've really done nothing. And this might just be my second. I'm tired. One single friend calls me. I'm not even gonna answer the phone because I know that if I answer it, I'll somehow get like wrapped into going. So my phone's gonna be on Do Not Disturb from about 4 p.m. on throughout the night. And I just wanna be home and I wanna read. That's what I wanna do. I wanna do nothing. I'm exhausted after last weekend. I'm listening to, oh, I'll show you. The world's first podcast. I'm back home. I just showered. I have to tell you, salad and go. Legit $5.74 for a salad. Listen, I know this is not organic. It's probably not even that good for you, honestly. Um, but it is a drive through salad place, which I've wanted. Coco, can you chill? Which I've wanted forever, and it's so good. The prickly pear lemonade is so incredible, and it's literally a dollar. So, like, I understand this is probably bad for you somehow, but it is so good. All right, guys, it has been quite some time. I think it's, yeah, it is 6.30. I honestly have a lot of work to do since I went to the golf course instead of working earlier today. I'm really tired, so I'm hoping that I just go to bed. I really feel like old Kenzie. Like, I couldn't tell you the last time. Like, for me to be at home on a weekend night, it, it, it just doesn't happen. It's kind of really nice. Anyways, I set up my brand new newsletter called Question for the Class. That's where I'm going to be talking a lot more in depth about your 20s. It's not gonna be like about me, but it is kind of like a more vulnerable like journal where I'm just talking about things that I'm going through in my 20s or things that I've learned from friends or experiences or whatever that might be. I'm gonna talk about breakups. I'm gonna talk about like church hurt. I'm gonna talk about friendship breakups, confidence, identity capital. I'm giving book recs and podcast recs there as well too. So I'll have that linked below. Join the mailing list. I've also been working on stuff for The Okine, which is a brand my friend Jess and I are starting. We have a TikTok and all of that on here. I feel like all I'm talking about is just plugging things, but like I've just been doing a lot. Oh, last thing, I swear that I'm gonna be plugging. I saw Maddie from Okay Sis talk about this in a vlog and I've heard them talk about it on the podcast, but Geneva, it's this app where you can have like group messages and stuff. So I made one for all of us. I'll have that linked below. And then we're also gonna have one for The Okine. So if you guys wanna be like the first to know and like honestly, I really value what you guys have to say so like even as far as like when we have product coming out i will be like asking you guys what you think so on geneva today i've made four group chats okay we have just an overarching kenzie elizabeth group chat that we can all talk in we have one for dallas people because i get questions all the time from you guys about dallas rex roommates in dallas making friends here all of that stuff so that's the second one the third one we have is the o kind like i was talking about before the fourth one is essentially a 20 support group which is um, question for the class. I know that was just so much happening, but like I had to fill you guys in. I will never promote anything else ever again, I swear. All right, no, actually I don't, but um, I think that's enough self promo for uh, the decade. So it is Friday night and I am still home, almost 8 p.m. And I turned down plans. I feel like that light drives me insane, but I feel like that's a really good thing. I've never, in all seriousness though, like I've never had FOMO until this year. And I don't know if it's like post pandemic or what, sorry my vacuum's going, but like I'm experiencing major FOMO right now. And as much as I know that I really, really, really need to stay home and I need to read and I need to wake up like fully rested tomorrow, I just, I wanna be young, wild, and free at the end of the day. I wanna be out. I wanna be going to do something tonight, but honestly, like, if I go out this weekend and then I leave for the Bahamas on Wednesday, so I go to the Bahamas for five days, I come back, I'm here for a week, and then I go to New York for a week, and that's like 10 recordings. Like, I just know that I need to stay home. It's not what I wanna do, but I know that I need to. So I'm staying home, I'm gonna turn my phone off, 
so I don't even receive a call or see a Snapchat, you know? I'm being responsible, you know? But in all seriousness, like, I have actually had JOMO my entire life, like, joy of missing out. Like, I love staying home. I love not going. With that being said, I've always still been, like, very social and outgoing, but I just never experienced FOMO. And now... I have FOMO and I don't like it at all and I understand everyone's problem with it, but I just didn't have it before. I don't know. I think I just wanted to do things less, you know? Hey guys, happy Saturday. Happy Saturday, everyone. Um, I'm just taking you along for the weekend, I guess. I just changed into this outfit. I'm gonna go on a little walk. I was thinking about going to Core Power today because I didn't hit five week workouts this week, but I'm just gonna go on a long walk. I'm fine with that. Have these set active socks. I'm gonna go um, clean my bathroom really quickly. I spent the morning actually reading. I finished my book. I had 50% to go and I finished the entire thing. Um, it's called The Breakup Book Club. I thought it was super cute. By the way, I have a Goodreads and I'm on book 59, I think, of 2021. I'm about to read a bunch of business books, but um, I mainly read nonfiction. I really, or no. No, I mainly read fiction um, these days, probably for the past year. Anyways, it was like a really cute little like beach read kind of book. It was light, but it wasn't light in the way that it was cheesy and it lacked depth. Like, I don't know, it was really good though. I spent the past two hours finishing that book and I just thought it was so cute. Now I am getting ready to go on a like nice little walk. I'm gonna take the dogs out and then I'm gonna go on a walk by myself for me time. Also, I want to go get breakfast and obviously I can't take the dogs if I want to get food. So, love this little morning walk. It's probably going to be really hot. Oh, I started listening to Dolly Parton's America. I don't think this thing. To Dolly Parton's America podcast last. Anyways, the podcast is really good. My bathroom counter. I honestly never have a cluttered bathroom counter, but I, you can see this now. So, I'm going to clean this very quickly. <laughs> Anyways, I did get over my FOMO last night um, as I woke up this morning and I felt incredible and I read like that was really It's not the nights that kill me. It's like the days that it takes away from me as far as like just operating normally Also guys, I have not used my rooftop one time this summer. I mean granted. It's really hot Like it's something that I use more in the fall Anyways, but I just feel really guilty. Well, I guess I did use it actually quite often in the spring when I was entertaining in August, it's just too hot, but I just feel guilty for not really using it. So when I get back from New York at the end of this month, I'm going to start doing things on the rooftop and entertaining and like having cute things up there. That's the plan. Um, anyways, this set is year of ours. I'm about to go take the dogs on a little walk, go get some breakfast um, and listen to Dolly Parton's America. I started listening to that last night and I'm obsessed. My friend Marissa is coming over today. I think she's gonna sleep over. We're gonna go to the Rustic. I'm gonna start a little Frozen Marg tour around Dallas on Instagram and TikTok, so that'll be fun. So we're gonna go to the Rustic, which is my favorite Frozen Marg in Dallas, and I think we're just gonna chill tonight. I look like I'm going on a field trip, but uh, here's my cute little juicy fanny pack. I've had this for years. I have no idea where you can get it now, but it's such a good little walk fanny pack. I like this one a lot. And I'm listening to Dolly Parton's America, um, the last episode. Oh yeah, okay, so I'm on episode two. What a nice little walk. On days that I don't work out in the morning, I really make sure that I get out of my house and I get some sort of movement, even if it's the weekend, because I feel like my days are just so much better when I actually start them off with that. Um, I'm going to finish my coffee. I ordered this from New Face. I want to say Devin Carlson put it in a vlog. Someone that I trust. I'm like 99% sure it was Devin Carlson. And she was doing it and it basically like tones your face. So I literally immediately bought it. Um, you have to use it to where you're like using it regularly. And I haven't been good enough about using it every day. But even just after one use, like you can see how this side of my face is way more... It's like it's like deep puffed at least. They used to have these at Hot Pilates too. Oh my god! Wow! Thank you so much. Wow! 
Guys, we're at the Rustic. Marissa is here for the weekend now. Um, I'm trying to be better about vlogging this weekend. I vlogged nothing this week. Um, you know, I was having an off week, but right, off week. here we are. <laughs> um, I This is my first stop on my Frozen Mog tour around Dallas. I had to start with my the personal Rustic. fave, the Rustic. You know, one day, when I become a country star, yeah. I'll be on that Car owner. <laughs> yeah, and I also, I, that's another thing. I was saying, Marissa, I'm like, you would think that I actually think that I own the place. And I think that I, I do think that sometimes. I, am, I don't, but you would think, you know? You would think, you would think. You know? <laughs> Living for the mark as always, and then I got this shrimp and avocado salad, which looks so good. Okay, we're gonna go to Love Shack Fancy. Um, honestly, because I saw this the cute TikToks last night, and I really need to see the thing, and they open in Dallas. So I'm going to make a TikTok. Um, gonna leave my camera in here. This place, guys, is like kind of a dream. I'm not gonna lie. What? Like the first time I passed by, I didn't get it, and now that I'm here, it's just magical. Yeah. It's just, there's something about it. Oh my god, these, oh, I, this is so cute. All right, perfect, thank you. Marissa would actually need it. Guys, I copied Marissa. We both love our Skims pajamas. I'll link them below. There's nothing like it. And like, I understand the price point is a little bit ridiculous. But like, once you have a pair, you'll understand. I wear my gray ones like way too often. So I got a different color. Marissa just got her fourth. Yes. Um, these are only my second, but I wear them all the time. I'll show you guys later, but they're very good. Now we're going to Suzy Cakes because we just really want Suzy Cakes. If you guys have never been, um, I don't know. Are they only in LA and Dallas or are they in New York? The best cake you'll ever have in your entire life. All my birthdays in LA and most of them here too are still Suzy Cakes. Thank God. Thanks, Rosa. I mean, this is exactly what we needed today. <laughs> coffee i'm going out of town this week i'm kind of already having sunday scaries honestly like that's what like august as a whole the next two weeks is gonna be crazy and i have so much to do over the next two days and then i have a flight at 3 a.m on wednesday so i'm trying to work through that but i today i'm gonna tour apartments which is very exciting i'm getting brunch with friends i might go to church um i'm just doing laundry and stuff i've been up doing stuff all morning i have two things to show you that are very cool look at this guys we are official the o kind do you see this? The Okine LLC. I mean, it's official. If you guys want to follow along and see more of what this is, you can follow, find us on TikTok and Instagram. The second thing is my favorite, one of my favorite people, honestly, in the world, and also my favorite bartender at Lila's, Roger, so sweet. If you go to Lila's, ask for him. He's just amazing. Sometimes he has like different colored hair. He always has the best outfit. Perfect skin, nicest guy ever. Anyways, I'm obsessed with him. He started an online boutique. So I will link it below. I already opened it, but I wanted to put it back in here to show you guys. Um, this top is so cute. Sorry my dogs are fighting in the background. I might even wear this today if I can. It might, I don't know how hot it is though, but anyways, it's this really cute, just like white blouse that I love and is also a staple in your closet. I got this cute little chocolate brown tank top that I obviously love. It's my favorite color. I mean, it's just perfect. I love this. So I'll link it below. Go support a small owned Dallas business. It's incredible. I'm waiting for a dog sitter to come over that I'm like, I'm not interviewing, but I'm meeting her. These dogs are kind of going crazy today, guys. Like, I don't know, like why is he doing that? Hey, Fitz, no? Yeah, exactly. And like, why is the bed like that? I have a lot of questions. I'm going to tour some apartments. Um, these pants are Zara. This top is the one that I just showed you guys in the hall. My favorite shoes from Revolve. My normal bag. Um, I honestly cannot remember where this necklace is from for the life of me. If you know, let me know. Jennifer Fisher hoops, my normal ring. Yeah, I'm going to Torso Apartments. I'm gonna take you guys with. You guys can tell me which one's your favorite. I like this outfit a lot. It's also just like very lightweight, which is perfect because it's hot. Coco, rude. <laughs> I ended up just 
just touring that one apartment. I might be touring another one. I was supposed to tour three today. The other one we canceled because we don't really like the location that much. And then we don't know about the second, the third location either. So I might just have toured one apartment. I will update you more on that once things are like finalized. It's 3.30 on a Sunday. I'm feeling kind of anxious. Everyone I know that I would like want to go get food with is busy right now. I don't know if I'm gonna go to church. I don't know. It's honestly a true case of the Sunday scary. So part of me is like, should I just hang out with myself the rest of the day? I don't know. I just feel kind of weird. Like, but then I think about it and I, I've said this so many times. I feel this way every August. I feel like because this has been such a good summer and I've been in a much better place, I forget that because I haven't really felt that way. But I don't know about you guys, I just, summers are just weird for me. I don't know. Hey, these flowers are really messed up because they got hit by something earlier, but I actually really like these from Trader Joe's. They're not normally what I grab for. And they're really messed up, granted. So I really like that. I think I'm just gonna probably get into comfy clothes and cook or something. I don't know. Honestly, guys, I'm just not feeling my best right now. I just made dinner and it looks so messy because I just didn't, it, that's eggplant under there. It's just quite a mess. I'm gonna have a nice night to myself. I'm back in my pajamas. I downloaded some new books on my Kindle. I'm just gonna really have a self-care night and turn my phone off. I think I've also had too much screen time lately. So I need to figure out what is a normal amount of screen time? If you guys made it this far, check your screen time and tell me what yours is in the comments. Obviously, I'm on my phone for work like all the time, but I just need to be off of it more because I think I'm just like wasting my life away and it's making me more anxious. Not even because of what I'm seeing, but just like being on my phone. I don't know. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. And so we kind of always had just like naturally gravitated towards fashion and we were just iterating on different ideas and literally on a Wednesday night I text off and I was like okay we just have to start active where we were both actually doing some freelance work for a woman who's you know really well versed in the production merchandising industry 